Today we will create our first GPT-40 app with vision. We will feed in an image and get GPT-40 vision to tell us what exactly is in the image. You can find our free code notebooks at the link below. So let's get started. In this lecture, we're going to talk about a Python script that processes an image to a specific size and quality and converts it to a JPEG format. First, several modules are imported including OpenAI and PIL from the Python Imaging Library as well as some input-output related modules. The function EncodeImage is defined to process the image. It takes three parameters, the path to the image file, the desired output size and the desired quality of the final image. The image is opened using PIL's image module. Next, the image is resized to the specified output dimensions using the Lanxos algorithm, which is a high-quality resampling method. If the image has an alpha channel indicating transparency, a new background is created in RGB mode with a white color, and the original image is pasted onto it, effectively removing transparency. The processed image is saved to an in-memory bytes buffer in JPEG format with the specified quality level using PIL's save method. Continuing from where we left off, the processed image stored in the in-memory bytes buffer is then converted to a byte array. This byte array is further encoded to a base64 string and the function returns this string after decoding it to UTF-8 format. Moving forward, we have another function called getImageDescription, which generates a description for the image. This function takes two parameters, the image and the maximum number of tokens. The function starts by checking if the image string starts with HTTP, FURS, or HTT, ASIS. If so, it creates a dictionary that specifies the type of content as an image URL, with the URL pointing to the given image link. If the image is not a URL, it calls the previously defined encode image function to process and encode the image into a base64 string. Then, it creates a dictionary that specifies the type of content as an image URL containing the base64 representation of the image. Continuing our explanation within the getImageDescription function, the next step involves creating a response using the OpenAI client. The response is generated by calling the completions.create method on the client's chat module. The method takes several parameters. First, it specifies the model GPT-40. Next, it includes the messages to send to the model. The message is structured as a dictionary with the user's role and a content section, which contains a text prompt asking what is in the image, followed by the image content prepared earlier. The response will respect the maximum number of tokens specified. Finally, the function returns this response, which should include a description of the image generated by the model. In a practical scenario, the script execution starts here but this part of the code is typically followed by a check to ensure the module runs as the main program. Let's review the final portion of the code. This section is executed when the script runs as the main program. First, an example image URL is defined, pointing to a public image on the web. There is also a commented outline that shows how to define the path to a local image. Now we can run this demo on Google Colab. Ensure that you have first added in your OpenAI API key before running the app. What's great about our code is that you can either feed in an image from the internet or a local image. GPT-40 analyzes the images and tells us exactly what is in these images. This will have great benefits for people who are blind in giving them more context about their world using AI. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like and subscribe for more AI tutorials. Comment down below on what you would like to see next.